I'm Jamie Stalkup, Senior Associate Editor of TV Real, and I'm joined by artist Fat Joe, who hosts the new interview show, Fat Joe Talks for Stars. How are you doing, Jamie? I'm great. Um, so you've hosted a podcast. You're not a stranger to interviewing or speaking and connecting with people one-on-one. -on -one. What made you want to expand that into series format, and how did it come to fruition? I started out on my Instagram uh, during COVID and interviewing people, anybody you name, Mike Tyson, Dr. Fauci, whoever. Um, and so stars contacted me and they were like, yo, we think this could be a TV show. And, and you know, I had a couple of different offers too. And, but you know, I loved where they were with the power universe with 50 Cent and where they stand with the culture. And so we came up with the show. Uh, shows about positivity, uplifting the people, inspiration. Uh, if you're from the culture and you're going through a tough time, you're gonna hear these powerful stories that's gonna help you change your life. Or if you're not from the culture and you wanna come in, this is the place you come in and you really learn about the culture and you realize that we are great people too. And you interview a wide range of people from Method Man, Mary J. Blige, T.I., Babyface, et cetera. But you also go beyond the entertainment industry and talk to people like Democratic Representative Kareem Jeffries. How did you decide on this lineup and the kinds of people you wanted to speak with? Well, we want to feed everybody a little bit of everything. And so right now, the, 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 the most important thing right now that's going on is politics. If I walk in the bodega in New York, the man who's cutting the oranges is listening to politics. It seems to be the thing. So anything, you know, something I haven't been able to do is I want to really focus on an episode on the WNBA because I love what Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark and uh, Angel Reese and Naja and all the girls are doing Sabrina from my liberty, you know, and I just want to touch every topic that uh, is really burning hot right now and just give our perspective to it. And that was that actually speaks to my next question. I was going to ask, what are the wider topics and themes that you wanted to dig into? And was there anything that surprised you that came out during these interviews? So many things that surprised me. You know, um, one thing was the interview with Method Man where he was like, if... If you look to your family for love, expect that they're gonna think, uh, they're gonna look at you as a provider and less love. And he opened my eyes to that. Like, I've, like, I've, like since then I've changed. I'm looking around to see if my wife really loves me, my daughter really loves me, my son. I'm like, yo, am I just a provider here? But uh, it, 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 it's a serious question. And I know you're not just sitting down and interviewing in one set spot for the Method Man episode. You go to his hometown to film there. How did you decide to do that? Well, we um, definitely very Anthony Bourdain inspired. So I've always was a fan of Anthony Bourdain. And so just minus the food, I wanted to travel and pull up on people. I want the camera to see something different every week. You know, oh, wow, Joe's over here. Now he's in T with T.I. in Atlanta. He's in the Trap Museum. He's, you know, and so just give you something to have a new burst of excitement every week. Every time a different one comes on, I'm in a different city. I'm at a different place. Um, so just trying to give you that experience. Like I mentioned earlier, you've hosted a podcast and you've done interviews through your Instagram. But what was it like to do that with, a whole professional film crew following you around. It's so crazy because you have to understand a lot of people are dreamers, but a lot of people don't follow through. So I've always wanted to have a talk show, but to actually have one and then have all these artists already done it. I mean, it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's surreal. It's just, I got to keep pinching myself. I got to keep praying. I can't believe it's really happening. And how do you go about making a connection with your guests? People often can clam up when cameras are around, even if they'd be totally candid with you without the cameras. So how do you make sure everyone's feeling comfortable and willing to open up? 
Well, the name of the show is called Fat Joe Talks. It should be called Fat Joe Talks a lot. And so <laughs> most of these guests I know, and even though they're the ones that usually don't talk, I'm going to get it out of them. We're going to talk. We're going to be comfortable. We're going to have a great time. Uh, somebody like Babyface, he ain't do an interview since Whitney Houston passed. So he don't even talk when I'm at dinner with him. Like, we just hanging out as friends. So I know I got to warm him up. We got to talk about something he wants to talk about and give the people something they've never seen from Babyface before. Well, that's amazing that you were able to get him to open up and feel comfortable enough to do that on camera. Yeah, Met the Men don't talk much either. So, like, to get him to open up about depression, family, all these issues is, is, is really great. Ultimately, what do you hope viewers take away from watching these interviews? Just learn from our mistakes, learn from where we came from, learn not to judge nobody prematurely, because uh, you never know what artist is going through what at certain times, you know, um, but you're going to learn all about that, all about that adversity, the triumph, and, you know, people who win, whether you're a mechanic or you're a school teacher, you could be a writer, you could be... They all have a winning DNA. They don't know how they're going to make it, but they're going to make it. And so that's important to everybody out there because all these ideologies and everything that's, that, that we're going through um, pertain to you. And so it's important. Well, I am so excited to see... Well, there are lots of talk and interview shows out there, so I'm excited to see them conducted through fresh eyes and from someone who themselves is a cultural icon and can connect on a deeper or at least different different level with their guests. So congratulations on the series, and I can't wait to watch it. Thank you so much. Thank you.